what has to make this work is the chemistry between Ellie and Joe. And I said from episode one, from day one, they've had really good chemistry. Things are getting real now. Things are getting real. Things are getting real, man. Um, with, with this whole thing, man. Um, th I think this is the episode in which we really see the bonding between Joel and Ellie. Obviously, played really well by Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. And I've always said before, despite like my misgivings for some episodes, the core of this and what has to make this work is the chemistry between Ellie and Joel. And I said from episode one, from day one, they've had really good chemistry, you know. And, I'm, and I think that's just really good casting. You see, it's really good casting because I think what I, I said before, it's not about having amazing actors. It's having two actors that blend well. It's like when you're making like a really good football team. It's not just about having 10 amazing players. It's 10 players who work well together because the chemistry is key. And these guys have very good chemistry. And like as you're watching, it's like, wow, man, you can really see this bond bled in between both guys but i've got a question though so tommy you're his brother and so forth so, be so because you have some sweetie pie and let's let's be real man black don't cry black don't cry um so because you've got some sweetie pie you didn't contact your brother bro you can have done this without anyone knowing so 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 you're saying because you had some sweet pie, you don't even contact your own bro who you were tight. You you and him were, were, were together. I don't know, man. Like if I was Joel, I was like, bro, man, that ain't very bro. <laughs> that ain't very bro 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 of you, man. So look, situation we have now is it's a sticky situation. So she's obviously young. She doesn't know. She doesn't know first aid or so forth. She doesn't know how, how to heal him. So how is she gonna drag? Someone who's like two, three, four times her size and weight over to some place to heal her. So, yeah, it's a pretty weird, sticky situation that they're in, man. Um, but yeah, no, 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 look, man, it's it's because, because, because again, look, as I said again, I try and I don't look at spoilers, I know a few spoilers of the game and I'm trying to ignore them but I do know a few spots but hence why I'm trying my best not to look at the comments so and I will always ask you guys that if because not everybody has played the game and I think most people who are watching this TV show because it's HBO and it's very heavily advertised haven't played the game so they are watching this fully fresh so I'll just ask that don't put any spoilers in the comments don't put any spoilers in the comments but no no but I I just I'm really into those two Joel and Ellie oh yes yes almost four go would it have been better to show Joel being violent? Because they are alluding to, like, that's what they said when it was Joel and Tommy, that, bro, you know, Joel has killed people. And, like, Ma Ma Maria, the uh, woman that Tommy is marrying, says that, look, he's killed people. He's killed a lot of people. So we're just being told that. We're not being shown that. And would it have been better if we're actually shown Joel saying what's up to people? If we actually get shown Joel being violent to people. I'm just saying it could have been better. So but so so that so that's my only thing that we're like sometimes you don't have to, sometimes you could be with to be told, but I just feel it would have been it for his character it'd been very interesting if we show him really being this violent, raw, tough, tough as nails, violent guys taken down. Because I think yeah, I think the first guy that we've seen him kill is this dude, it is this episode where he he cracks his, his neck. I think that's the first guy that, unless I'm wrong, because when they were in that shootout, wasn't it Ellie that said what's up to that dude? So I think this is the first we've actually seen him, seen Joel actually kill someone. So I don't know, but look, how they get out of the situation now because it's freezing cold. There's no hospital around. You can't do first aid. So you've got to hope that <laughs> basically you, 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 you've got to pretty much be like Neo in Matrix Re Reloaded way. You know, you, you put your hand through and you basically save Trinity. But um, yeah, man, no, look, because I think this was, I think this episode was not was not really about the actually this episode was much more about their bond. Hence why that bit where he wanted to go because it was like, bro, if I go with you, I'm going to get you killed. Just like I got my daughter killed. And, and he was like, okay, look. 
I think he was like, let me as well give you the choice because I think as much as he feels guilty being with her and her dying on his watch, he'll also feel guilty because they've come so far. And I think even himself, I think he maybe sees his daughter in her. So maybe he's like, no, this is a second chance. This is a second chance to actually protect someone. Um, again, because I feel to, to protect my own daughter. Let me try and protect this chick so I can say what's up. So guys, tell me what you thought about the episode. But remember, no spoilers, man. I'll see you guys next week. Come here!